hello friends welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm gonna talk about what do you mean by retesting why we perform retesting and we'll talk about regression testing and we'll also talk about what are the advantages and disadvantages of retesting and regression testing and at last we'll talk about what's the difference between regression testing and retesting and so this is an important interview question guys and important topic so please con concentrate more on this topic so let's talk about retesting first what do you mean by retesting so to test something again is called retesting in simple words or if you talk about the definition so testing the same functionality with different combination of input data is called retesting so let's understand with the help of an example guys so let's say this is our application let's say this is e-commerce application and here we have different modules guys this is module a this is module b this is module c and this is module d now in this particular module a we have different features let's say user registration we have login and some other features as well and we have written some test cases for user registration we have written some test cases for login page and we have written some test cases for some other features so these are the complete set of test cases for module a now take an example while executing the user registration test cases we got the defect we are not able to register the user so what we will do we will raise the defect to the development team and after the fix after the fix we will re-execute our test cases for this user registration page so that is nothing but we are Doing the retesting we are re-executing our test cases so that is retesting guys so to make sure that defect is working fine for that particular page that user registration page so this is retesting right so sometimes we perform with different set of uh, test data uh, we'll re-execute with different set of test data to make sure that defect is perfectly fine or not so that is retesting now there are two ways we can perform retesting so here you can see we have re-executed our test cases for the user registration page so since we have login page as well so we got the issue in user registration while registering the user so we'll make sure that user is able to log in, in into the functionality or not so we will test the login functionality as well so sometimes we do on that particular feature will re-execute the test cases for particular feature and sometimes will re-execute the test cases for entire module in retesting so that is retesting guys so this is all about retesting now let's talk about what you mean by regression testing let me take another example so here we have another application here we have module a module b module c module d and module module e now what happens in regression testing so let's say we got issue in this module c we got some issue and it is fixed by the development team and we re-execute our test cases so that is retesting on this particular module c but this module c is dependent on some other module let's say c is dependent on b a is dependent on c C is dependent on D and D is dependent on E. So module C is dependent on some other modules or some other modules are dependent on C. So what happens is as part of regression testing, since we got the issue here, so we will make sure that other part of the application does not get impacted because of this change. So this is not about just get got the issue in module C. Sometimes what happens is if some features has been added, some feature has been added in this module C. In that case, also we need to make sure the other part of the application does not get impacted. So other related functionality. So that is nothing but re regression testing, guys. So in regression testing, we have certain suite of test cases we have to execute on on which which combine uh, which which is the combination of all the modules so we have suite of test cases which combine the test cases from the subset of test cases from all the modules all the interrelated modules so we will execute all those test cases to make sure 
all the features all the other features or unchanged features are working fine or not so this is regression testing so let's move on to the next slide guys where we'll talk more about uh, retesting we will recap what we have discussed so far and we'll discuss like why we perform retesting regression testing and difference between them advantages and disadvantages also we'll talk about so let's get started So testing the same functionality with different combination of input data so this is what we have discussed different combination of input data is called retesting retesting essentially means to test something again in simple words in simple words the retesting is the testing a specific bug after it was fixed retesting ensures that the issue has been fixed and it is working as expected so this is the main purpose of retesting to make to make sure that has been fixed and it is working as expected it is plan testing with proper steps of verification so when we get the fix then we have to re-execute our test cases so this is plan testing guys in some test cases some cases the entire module is required to be retested to ensure that quality of the module so this is what we have discussed right and i have given the example of retesting why and when we perform retesting so retesting is used when there is any specific error or bug which needs to be verified it is used when the bug is rejected by the developer so this is another example why we perform retesting then the testing department test whether the bug is actual or not so let's say this is the bug is rejected by the developer so again we have to re-execute our test cases with different set of combination different uh, combination of test data or we'll try to reproduce the defect whether that is for for that reason we have to re-execute our test cases to make sure that is a actual defect it is also used to check the whole system to verify the final functionality it is used to test even the entire module or component in order to confirm the expected functionality called retesting advantages and disadvantages of regression uh, retesting so retesting ensures that the issue has been fixed and it is working as expected it improves the quality of the application or product it requires less time for verification because it's limited to the specific issue or any particular feature so since we have taken an example of user registration piece so it very easy it's very easy to re-execute re the same set of test cases part of retesting if the tester has knowledge of the source code it becomes very easy to find out which type of data can help in testing the application effectively and there are some disadvantages so it requires new build for verification of the defect so until unless if you don't get the new build so you cannot re-execute our test cases once the testing is start, started then only the test cases of retesting can be obtained and not before that the test cases for retesting cannot be automated so just remember guys we cannot automate uh, retesting right we can automate our regression suite now let's talk about regression testing what do you mean by regression testing if any changes are done in the existing build and this and this this is this test is conduct on the modified build to verify the changes are working correctly or not and because of these changes there are no side effects that is the main purpose of regression testing in regression test the change functionality plus dependent functionalities are tested the purpose of regression testing is to find any bugs which may get introduced accidentally because of new changes or modification this also ensures that the bug found earlier are not creatable. This helps in maintaining the quality of the product along with the new changes in the application. So why we go for regression testing? Any new feature is added to an existing feature. The code base is fixed to solve defects. Any bug is fixed and changes in configuration. So these are the different uh, reasons we go for regression testing any new feature is added which we have discussed 
code base is fixed to solve defects and any bug is fixed and changes in configuration code configuration right so these are the different reasons we for re regression testing advantages and disadvantages of regression testing guys it helps the team to identify the defects and eliminate them earlier in the software development life cycle it ensures continuity of the business functions with any rapid change in the software regression testing can be done by using the automation tool so generally we automate the functional test cases and regression test cases because in regression test cases whenever there is a change or there is a deployment we have to perform regression testing for that reason uh, we automate our regression suite it helps us to make sure that any changes like bug fixes or any enhancements to the module or application have not impacted the existing tested code that is main advantage of regression testing what are the disadvantages if regression testing is done without using automated tools then it can be very tedious because whenever there is a, a deployment we have to you know re-execute all our regression suite manually so that is kind of very tedious process and time consuming because here we execute the same set of test cases again and again that is regression testing regression testing has to be performed for every small change in the code as even a small portion of code can create software it takes time to complete the test and this slows down the agile velocity it expensive it is expensive and the cost is hard to justify so what is the difference between retesting and regression testing guys so retesting is about fixing specific defects that you are already found regression testing is about searching for defects searching for defects in other modules other related modules so retesting is done only for failed test cases regression testing is performed for past test cases which we have seen right if particular module is fixed then we have to just re-execute the test cases for that particular module and we have to execute our regression suite to make sure other related functionalities are not impacted retesting is used to ensure that the test cases which failed in last executions are fixed regression testing is to ensure that changes have not been affected the unchanged part of the product verification of bugs are included in the retesting verification of bugs are not included in the regression testing retesting is of high priority so it's done before the regression testing regression testing can be done in parallel with retesting retesting the test cases cannot be automated and here we can automate our regression test cases in case of retesting the testing is done in planned way in case of regression testing the testing style is generic test cases of retesting can be obtained only when the testing starts Test cases of regression testing can be obtained from the specific document and bug reports. So what happens in regression testing whenever a particular module is deployed? So let's say we have certain features in module that are deployed, right? So we have already regression suite. So after the deployment, we will pick some of the test cases and we'll execute, we'll put in regression suite and will execute for the next deployment that is how we do as part of regression testing so this is all about retesting and regression testing guys so if you have any questions then put your comments uh, uh, put your questions in the comment box and please like this video share this video and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get such interesting videos videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye